Hi, it's Kelly here. In this video, I want to talk to you about the tiny little hairs that you have in your body. That's tiny little hairs. That's southern for tiny little hairs in your body that are critically important for your health and, and, and for everyone's health. And they are called cilia, and there are different kinds of cilia, but uh, the ones I want to focus on, and this, this one is mostly in, in the brain, although it also applies to your, your, your nose and your ears. We have cilia in our bronchial tubes. Um, did I mention eyes? Uh, ovaries, pancreas, probably other places where they, where they exist. And what they do is they move the fluid in our body. And in our brain, we have fluid. It's called cerebrospinal fluid. And uh, we have about four ounces of it in our, in our body at any given time. But our body actually makes it about four times because it's constantly rinsing our brain clear of the, the, the waste material, you know, the, 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 the stuff that the body, just waste product. And it's very important, obviously, that, that it be moved. And if it wasn't important, we wouldn't have it in our brain. And it also goes down the spine. So it's critically, critically important. And one of the things that moves that fluid, which in the fluid, by the way, there's like a couple layers that go over the top and the sides, like two different channels there uh, of layers, like an outer layer and an inner layer where it flows. And it flows sort of like maybe where the pineal gland is, sort of in that general vicinity. In there, the stuff is flowing, and it's called the third ventricle. And that's, what, that's where the tiny little hairs are, and they, they move the fluid. And, um, but unfortunately, it's, well, or fortunately, it's activated electronically. And, but with with the things that we're exposed to these days, we're exposed to a lot of a lot of uh, positive ions that are not good, and they slow down those hairs. And so when we're trying to clean our brain, you know, we rinse it out four times a day, basically. Um, if those hairs aren't moving, it see they move. They're so tiny. They're like one one hundredth the width. Uh, the diameter of a, of a human hair. So, you know, let's see if I can find a hair here, just one. Imagine one hundredth of, of that. But they, they work together in concert to move the fluid. And they're supposed to go about 900 beats a minute. But if you have too many positive ions, it slows down to about 600, it gets, it gets gunky, sticky. And they, and they, you know, so one is going this way, the other one's going that way, and this way. So it's not moving the fluid the way that we want it to, to wash our brain. You've, you know, so we end up with stagnant fluid in that area of our body. And so, and you know, things that are stagnant generally kind of stink. I don't know what the smell's like in there, but if it's stagnant and it's got waste product in it, it's probably not the best odor in the world, right? And so we want to clear that out. We want to keep it clean so that our brain can function properly. And just as a related note, you know, we have these cilia in our nose, and, and those cilia are involved with our ability to smell things. And in Alzheimer's, the first one of the first signs of, of it is the loss of a sense of smell and so we'll hear cilia and then we got cilia in the brain cilia is actually located in this third ventricle of the brain which is sort of around where the pineal gland is um, and so that's cilia this is cilia and so if if maybe it's slowed down here it's not working properly it's related, it's, it's an indication that what's, it's not working in the brain. And my understanding is, at least some doctors say that, that uh, Alzheimer's starts in the third ventricle of the brain. It kind of kind of creeps up like a staircase to the, to the front, part, front part of the brain um, <clears throat> in a lot of cases. So it's kind of interesting that we've got this 
stagnant fluid, you know, so even, even before we manifest, say, having Alzheimer's, which is exploding, right, if our brain is kind of polluted a little bit, just a little bit here, a little bit there, over time, it also means the brain's not going to function the way we want it to, right? So we want to keep that stuff moving. And what gets it moving are things like your heartfelt energizer, that's the multi-wave oscillators on fans, and also the twisted copper wire. I call them twizzle sticks. You tape them lengthwise on your the top side of your of your ceiling fans. You, you know you bend them in half. Use a power drill. Gently let them tighten up until they start to buckle. Then put them up there and tape them on, and they will instantly get the hairs in your brain from maybe being at 600 or 700 or 800. Get it up to 900 or more. Get that fluid moving, and so that you so that you can think more clearly, and that you won't lose your sense of smell. By the way, this fluid also goes it has some contact with the ears. You know, a lot of these days, a lot of people have ringing in their ears. You know, um, and a lot of it has to do with. It. They say, you know, they get a 5G tower near them, and bingo, they got it. So this could help to move the cilia a little better because this, these towers and the cell masts and the, the smart meters, I call them smart beaters, uh, they, they're particularly bad because they have both AC, alternating current, and direct current, DC, AC and DC, and they spike every few seconds, and it travels at least 60 feet. Uh, and so all these things can be affecting our brain processing and it might explain a lot why we're running it you know we're just seeing it every day aren't we seeing people don't seem to be as sharp as they used to be um, and so we can do this immediately you're going to get instant instant results so uh, now is a really really good time to get yourself you know like say 10 gauge, 12 gauge, copper wire, put it in a, in a drill, it's worth buying the drill, if you're going to make your brain work better for the rest of your life, turn it on, get it twisted, gently twisted, tape it up there, turn it on, let it run all the time, and if it's too cool, I think a lot of these fans will go in reverse uh, direction so you don't, so they're not too cool. Though this time of the year you don't have to worry about that too much, but let it run all the time because we're being exposed to our smart beaters all the time. And so this will help to get your brain thinking clearly and maybe get rid of the ringing in your ears and help your sinuses so you can, you know, so you can s smell better, you know, notice, a, notice the aromas. We have them in our bronchial tubes, you know, we want our ovaries working if you're female. And a pancreas for sure, everybody has a pancreas, we want that working well. And so we, we, want, this, we want this fluid not being stagnant, turning into pollu a polluted brain. What do they call it, stinking thinking? Remember I referred to that, that uh, you know, maybe it doesn't smell too good? Well, maybe stinking thinking is a real thing. Maybe it's literal. So if you could clear that up, that would be great. And also, let me plug my book while we're at it. Um, it's here out, out of sight. Um, there it is. I don't know if you can see it that well. Um, and the reason I mention it, here it is. The, is there a question that heals instantly? Is that by clearing up the stinking thinking in your brain, you're going to get your brain working better. This works with the, the non-material. Everybody, all of us, we have problems, we have issues, things that are hard that we react to, and we have plenty of evidence as to why we feel bad, right? And so trying to switch out from feeling negative to positive is really hard when you know that, yeah, those things actually happened, you know? I had a flat tire the other day. It, it, you know, I, I could deny I had a flat tire, no, you know, but 
you know, I had a flat tire. And then we have the same thing with relationships. People maybe said something to us or whatever it is, old traumas, new traumas. This book will assist people to once, you know, you get your brain working and everything, and now you can get your emotions and be happy and, and feel blessed. And in that combination, we can have Gardens of Eden all around the world, everywhere. So it's a real simple question you ask yourself. It works within a couple seconds, just like the, the ceiling fans seem to work within a couple seconds, we notice it. And my goodness, what a world we'll, we'll have. Well, thank you for listening. You take care, and God bless.